Hey Anthem, Pastor Andrew here. I want to provide you guys with an update that I'm really excited about. Uh, just a few weeks ago, Pastor Allen posted something to our church called the Anthem Five. Uh, and these are five principles that we as a church want to orient ourselves around during this unique and difficult season that we found ourselves in. And all of them are really helpful and great, but I really want to focus on the last one today with you, which is advocating for mission. You know, I've, I've been at this church almost my whole life, and uh, it's always been a desire of ours to be a church that welcomes people. For anyone to, to come to our church and to experience the love of God, either for the first time or, or as they grow in grace, and to be integrated into the family and the body of Christ that, that we have here at Anthem. But one of the questions we've really been asking since the first of the year is, are we as welcoming as we think we are? What is our culture around welcoming? Can someone walk in off the street and be greeted and be welcomed and be placed into community and into processes that will help them grow in the grace that's been extended to them in the gospel? And to be honest, we were going full steam ahead with some great things that we had planned to implement this weekend. But uh, just as the whole world has been affected and interrupted due to the coronavirus, uh, so have those plans. And so the question then became for us as the leaders, what do we do in the meantime? And for a while, it was kind of a frustrating and disheartening conversation until it became really clear to me and others that the welcoming heart of God has not changed at all in this season. And as his body, as his church, it is our job to do as Ephesians 5.1 says, and imitate God and the welcoming heart that he has extended to all in the gospel. And so while the practice may look different than it would have had none of this happened, the heart and the culture is still there. And that's what we want to try to seek to do as a church uh, during the shelter in place time. And so with that in mind, we've developed some principles and practices that, that we want to enter into as a church during this time to extend the welcoming heart of God uh, to those who, who need help and who don't know him. And so as we share these, one thing I really want to say from the start, and I hope it's obvious, but I just want to make it plain, is that none of these uh, principles and practices that we want to put forth should be uh, practiced in the breaking of the order that's been given to us to shelter in place, uh, to have proper face covering, and to maintain social distancing, okay? We, we want to submit to the governing authorities that have been placed over us and the wisdom that uh, those in the medical community have given us. Uh, we want to continue to do that. So as we practice these things, please keep those in mind. We want you to practice social distancing. Uh, things are looking like they might ramp up this week, and face masks are really encouraged. So please do that if you're going out. And the last thing, of course, is to maintain at home, remain at home in as much as you are able to. And so with those in mind, these are four practices that we want to put before you as our people. The first is this, to have an invitational posture. Uh, Non-verbally, we communicate a lot without even knowing it. And one of the ways that we communicate to people is in our body posture. And so if you need to go to the store, if you need to go to work, if you're out in your front yard gardening, trying to get some fresh air, what is your body language saying to the people around you? Is it saying, don't talk to me, leave me alone? Or is it saying, I might be open to a conversation that happens six feet away? I might um, be open to having someone come and speak to me or, or whatever the case may be. It's really easy to go through life, if you're anything like me, kind of hunkered in and just trying to get from point A to point B. But we really encourage you during this time when people are isolated and lonely, um, when, when they do come in you know, physical proximity with others, they might be more open to conversation and to seeing people and interacting with them. So as a church, we should be as invitational and welcoming in our posture as we can be while still being wise and safe. The second principle is to initiate contact, not physical contact, obviously, but what ways can we reach out to the people around us to help them, to love them, to serve them as Jesus would? You know, it's a great time to perhaps give a call to a neighbor that you haven't spoken to in six months or a year, or perhaps to introduce yourself to them. Um, we have a lot of tools that we are giving the church to use if they are led in this way to initiate contact with their neighbors. Uh, we have yard signs that you can put up in your yard that say, are you isolated? Do you need help? Reach out to the church here. That's a great way to offer help to people who might need it. Um, in the packet that I have posted below this video, 
There is also a resource of little cards that you can print out and cut out that say, here's my name, here's my contact information, and here are the ways I might be able to help you. You can put those on a door or in a mailbox without actually being close to another person or touching them. Uh, a number of different ways for you to reach out to the people around you, to coworkers even, uh, to friends, to family, and to be as welcoming in your conversations as you can be. To, to offer the services that you can offer and the love that you can offer even if you can't offer other things. So initiate contact. Let's be proactive about reaching out and seeing ways in which we can serve others. The third principle is this, is in taking an incarnational prayer walk. Now, some of you may not be used to prayer walking, but it doesn't need to be more complicated than this. Uh, to my knowledge, we're, we're still allowed to walk around our neighborhoods if we're, our faces are covered and we are practicing social distancing. Uh, I've been doing that a lot to stretch my legs and get some fresh air as I've been cooped up in my home. Um, and we're encouraging you to take one of those walks and to intentionally pray for your neighbors. Pray for their needs, pray for their families, pray for their children, pray for safety and protection, and that God would work in this season to bring them to himself, that they may experience the love of God. Um, pray that they wouldn't get sick. There's a number of things that we can pray for our neighbors. And so take one walk a week. Uh, be open if someone's passing you and, and willing to converse with you, to, to talk with them and to love them and to be welcoming to them. Um, but take one walk a week where you are fully present to the walk around you and present to God and what he might be saying to you as you walk and observe your neighborhood. Lastly, regarding prayer walks, uh, if your conscience does not allow you to do this, uh, please don't participate. Uh, if you are symptomatic, please don't go outside. Uh, if you're in a vulnerable population, please don't put yourself at risk by, by getting out there. Um, even if you're fine and healthy, but your conscience is telling you not to go outside, we do not want you to void uh, that conviction. So um, if your conscience allows, you can participate in this uh, to whatever degree you think is appropriate. Uh, if, you, if your conscience does not allow it, or you think it would be wiser to stay at home, uh, please just spend some intentional time praying for your neighbors. Uh, the prayer that you offer in that way is just as effective, so, so please join us in doing that. The fourth principle is intentional testimony. One of the things I've been really encouraged by recently, I've been taking a peek into the book of Acts and just to see how many of the people in the early church shared the good things that God was doing and how encouraging that was and how that caused worship in the people that they were sharing those, those truths and realities with. It was a rhythm of their church life. And I think now more than ever, when there's so much discouragement and anxiety and uncertainty, for us to share the good things that God is doing is, is a huge ministry to one another. Uh, we don't think God's doing something during this time. We, we know he's doing something during this time. And as horrible as this reality is, we know that there are some good things that, that he is doing in, in spite of this, this hardship. And so to do that, to share the goodness of what he's doing, there's, there's two main ways to do that. Uh, number one, we have an app which you can download on uh, either App Store, Google Play, or the Apple App Store. Uh, you can search Anthem Church Marin and our logo will pop up. And on one of the main home pages, there's a place to uh, upload photos to an album called Anthem in Place. Uh, it's a place where we've been sharing our activities and the ways we've been keeping ourselves busy uh, during the shelter in place time. Uh, upload any cool um, stories or photos or you know evidence that God is working to that place. That'd be a great encouragement to people. And you can also just do it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, whatever medium you, prepare, you prefer to use, uh, and put the hashtag Anthem Welcome. Hashtag Anthem Welcome. And that'll be a way for us to, to aggregate those posts. And uh, once a week on Wednesdays, so starting next Wednesday, we want to share these with the church and just be encouraged by the ways that God is moving in this unlikely and difficult season and time. So that's it. Those are our four principles and practices. Invitational posture, initiating contact with our neighbors, incarnational prayer walk, and intentional testimony. Uh, we want to enter into the work that God is doing in this time, uh, that we may share his welcoming heart and love with others, and that we may enter into the joy that is joining him in his work. Love you guys. Can't wait to see what you post. And we'll check in again next week. Bye.